Hello friends, I am your chemistry teacher Ganesh Kalsar from Science Academy Dam. Friends, in today's second lecture of chemical thermodynamics, we are going to discuss some important topics like some important terminologies related to thermodynamics, system, surrounding, and boundary, different types of system like open system, closed system, and isolated system, and thermodynamic properties. Extensive and the intensive properties. Guys, let's start with important terminologies which are related to the thermodynamics. What is system? Or you can say system. Any portion of universe which is under thermodynamic investigation is called as system. Any portion of universe which is under thermodynamic investigation is called as System. But it's surrounding. The remaining portion of the remaining portion of universe other than. System from where observations are made, from where observations are made is called as surrounding. And what is the boundary? The surface of separation between system and surrounding is called as boundary. The surface of separation between system and surrounding is called as Boundary. To understand this topic, system surrounding and boundary, let's take one example. Consider you are performing any chemistry experiment in your chemistry laboratory, and you are holding a test tube. Containing a reaction mixture in your hand, then that test tube holding test tube holding a reaction mixture is your system. This test tube holding a reaction mixture is the system. What is the surrounding? The laboratory. The laboratory in which you are performing this experiment is the surrounding with respect to that test tube, which is the system. That laboratory is the surrounding. And what is the boundary? The surface of separation between system and surrounding is called as the boundary. It means that this glass wall of beaker, sorry, test tube. Wall of H2 is the separation between reaction mixture and the surrounding that is the laboratory. Therefore, we can say that this glass wall of the H2 is the boundary. I am going to repeat all these basic three terms: system, surrounding, and boundary. What is system? 
any portion of the universe which is under the thermodynamic investigation is called as a system. For example, here test tube containing reaction mixture is the example of system because we are going to study the reaction mixture taken in the test tube. What is the surrounding? The remaining portion of the universe other than the system. Here, the laboratory in which you are standing and you, you are holding the test tube in your hand is the surrounding. What is the boundary? The surface of separation between system and surrounding is called as a boundary. Here, glass wall of the test tube is the surface of separation between reaction mixture and the surrounding. Therefore, we can set it as the boundary. Okay? Now, we are going to discuss the different types of the system. There are three types of system and those are open system, closed system and isolated system. To understand these points thoroughly, first observe the given diagram. Friends, this is the cup of hot tea or hot coffee. And this is the saucer, first one. If in second diagram, I keep that saucer over the a cup of hot tea. This is again a cup of hot tea. Only the change is I'm going to keep that saucer over that cup of hot tea. And in the third figure, I pour that hot coffee in a thermos. This is thermos. In first case, if I touch that curve, then it feels warmer to my hand. Guys, if I touch that curve, it feels warmer to my hand. And in second case, if I place my hand over that curve, then I feel the moisture or the water vapor get collected on my palm. It means that in this case, that curve exchange heat as well as matter. And we know that heat is a form of energy. It is the example of open system. What is open system? A system which can exchange both energy as well as matter with the surrounding is called as the open system. A system which can exchange both energy as well as matter with surrounding is called as open system. Example, a cup of hot tea. Okay, let's see what is the closed system. Guys, if I touch that curve, it again feels warmer to my hand. But if I keep my hand over that curve, which is already closed with the saucer, then I do not feel that the water vapors get collected on my palm. It means that it can exchange only energy in the form of heat and not the matter. Such a type of systems are called as the closed system. What are closed system? A system which can exchange only energy and not the matter 
which surrounding are called as closed system. Example, a cup of hot tea which is closed with saucer. Third one is isolated system. What is isolated system? If I pour that a cup of hot tea or that hot tea into a thermos, then I will not feel it is warm to my hand or also there is no collection of the water vapor on my palm. It means that there is no exchange of energy as well as the matter is surrounding. Such type of systems are called as the isolated systems. A system which cannot exchange either energy or matter with surrounding are called as isolated system. For example, a hot tea poured into thermos. Okay guys, here we study three different types of system. Open system, closed system and isolated system. Now I am going to repeat these three points. Open system, a system which can exchange both energy as well as the matter in surrounding. While there is an open system, what is a closed system, a system which can exchange only energy and not the matter in surrounding. While there is a closed system, and what is an isolated system, a system which neither exchange energy or matter with the surrounding called as the isolated system. Okay guys, now we are going to discuss an important point. Extensive property. And intensive property. What are extensive properties? Guys, to understand this point, first let's take example of water. If I take 5 ml of water, in the second case, if I take 50 ml of water, and if I determine the boiling point of these waters, is there any difference between its boiling point? No. Boiling point it means that its temperature will become 100 degrees Celsius in both the cases. It means it is independent of amount of matter taken in the beaker. Therefore, we can say that a property which is independent of amount of matter a property of a system which is independent of amount of matter is called as Intensive property. For example, temperature, pressure, refractive index. Surface tension. Okay. Extensive property. A property of system. A property of system which depends on
amount of matter is called is called as extension property. For example, mass because it is dependent on the amount of matter present in the system, volume, heat capacity, it is important for CT, heat capacity, then energy, we can write different forms of energy, entropy, enthalpy, gives free energy, internal energy these are the examples of extensive property most important point for CT the ratio of two extensive property is the intensive property for example if we, take, we, if we consider mass which is extensive property and volume which is also extensive property. The ratio of this two extensive property mass and volume is the density. It is intensive property. Here I am going to repeat the ratio of two extensive property is the intensive property. One more important thing is that all the concentration terms, all the concentration terms. All the concentration terms are intensive properties. Why? This is because these are the ratios of two extensive property. Take one example of molarity. What is the formula of molarity? It is the number of moles divided by number of moles divided by volume of solution in liter. Here, number of moles is the extensive property and volume of solution is also extensive property. It means that the ratio of two extensive properties is the intensive property. Therefore, molarity is also the example of intensive property. Similarly, like molarity, normality, molality, ppm, the parts per million, all these are the examples of the intensive property. So guys, in today's lecture, we discuss very important types. In tomorrow's lecture, we are going to study different thermodynamic processes. Thanks.